Hello everyone, welcome to today's video where we are switching. Wait, where are we doing? We are switching, let me go grab them. Uh, we are putting on some shorty lovers on my 2019 Royal Enfield Continental GT 650, the bike behind me. Basically, I am in this middle of this process of uh, throwing a bunch of money and a bunch of parts at this bike. I've had it for about a year and a half, and there were some small things that I wanted to do to it, right? I wanted to put some new fork gaiters on, I wanted to put new clip-ons, which that's still a work in process, a new headlight lamp, a new suspension. This has been a process. There's a lot of videos on this. Um, Hitchcock's um, has been really hard to actually get these uh, shorty levers in black. They've been sold out for a long time. That's a process. If, you're, if you wanna know what's going on there, watch the clip-on video. What a process that's been. But since we're in the middle of the clip-on video, we can't really move forward because I'm missing a tool that I need to drill a hole into the clip-ons. I'm gonna swap out these levers and I don't know if it's gonna be difficult or easy, but you know what? I'm gonna learn and anything that I learn, you guys are gonna learn it too. And if I can do it, you guys can definitely do it because you're probably more mechanically inclined than I am. That being said, uh, let's jump into it and let's uh, get to work. Also, if you're like new to the channel, my name's Joey. This is Bertoni Motors, my YouTube channel, the Instagram, the TikTok, there's a whole bunch of things. Basically, I like cars and motorcycles like a lot. Like that's my role. My Ducati Panigale V2 is over there. Those are not my Hummers. I wish they were. But I have a VR6 engine swapped Jetta and I also have a BMW 328i drift car. So if you like that kind of stuff, this is a good channel for you guys to like and watch and you know, subscribe to. Subscribe to that. Um, that being said, yeah, let's jump in. Let's jump to the project. As for the right side or the front brake, 10 millimeter. Put that on off. I don't know how much this screw is going. Oh yeah, you just have to like hold it. This should be much simpler. Oh yeah, almost out. Just gonna do it with my fingers now. Don't drop it like me. This is going to. Just like the clutch side underneath this, you're gonna need a screwdriver. There's a little sensor plate attached. It's super small, so be really careful. I don't know if it's two or one. I think it's just one Phillips. Let's see, it's gonna drop. Boom, so that drops off. And then this bolt is just gonna pop straight up. Might be easier with a flathead. And as you can see, the front brake lever is already coming off. Let's see. Boom. And when you compare the two, much smaller, much better looking but very simplistic, very same idea. It should be, let's see. I'm gonna slot that back in. There is, if you guys can see this, on this side, see this little nipple thing? It's actually inserted into the nipple here, where my finger is. So, I don't know if nipple is the right word. It's the nipple I'm gonna use. I'm gonna, it's the nipple I'm gonna use. It's the term I'm gonna use. That goes there. And this drops in here. It should be fairly smooth. You just drop it down. There we go. Let's push this in a little bit. The actual lever. And it aligns the holes a little easier. And then it's coming through on the bottom. And 
that's there. So now, let's go ahead and add this bolt underneath it. Actually, let's do the screw first. It's the same order of operations, right? So this little emergency thing, see where it places. Where does it go? There we go. That screw heads up in here. Look at that. There's a nice little adjustment up here. Let's see if we can get that to work. Oh, nope, just kidding. We're not done yet because we have the bolt. It needs to be screwed back on here. Also, as we're taking a moment to refresh our palate with some hydration, it's a reminder that you should probably drink some water too. So go drink some water. Also, it's an opportunity for me to tell you I've got a bunch of new sweaters. You too can have a Bertone Motor sweater. I don't have any mugs either, but like we're drinking coffee and I was like, damn, that'd be really cool if I had a mug. I've got a bunch of cool mugs of the Royal, of my Bertone Motors logo, of like the cool, like this motorcycle, just like the single motorcycle, all on my website www.bertonimotors.com. So if you want one of those, it'd be really cool. You know, support your favorite YouTuber, which is me. So since we're in the middle of this process, it's much easier to do this. We need to remove this piece with two, uh, two little bolts, and it's very delicate, so you gotta be careful with this. And then from there, we're going to come over here and we're going to disengage this so we have a little more play with the wire. So to give this a little more slack, you're gonna need a 12 millimeter and you're just gonna loosen this up a bit. Let's see if I can do it one handed. By loosening this wire, you're gonna give yourself a little more slack, which is gonna make this process much easier as the lever is just basically going to fall out of place. Now you can see exactly what I mean. Just by loosening it an inch or two, you have so much more slack on the lever and this lever just actually just pops out. Now that that's off, we have access to this in the same way in, it's the same way out. Just wanna make sure I do a little test fit. Um, I'm gonna take this off later. I'm gonna add a little bit of grease here and here. 
Basically, that goes sets back in. You can already tell it looks so much better in all black, right? Um, from here, we need to go grab the black metal screw that I didn't show you guys because I already took it off beforehand. Looks a lot like this because that is exactly it. This drops directly into here, right? Boom, just jingle jangle it around. You're gonna need a tin now, and you're basically just gonna slowly, well, I wish I had a tin socket with me. Careful with the paint. This is obviously going straight through. It's threaded on the bottom. And I feel it poking out my finger on the bottom right now. So I'm going to grab the bolt that sits on the bottom here. Just kind of tighten that with my finger. I'm gonna hold it and tighten this. It doesn't have to be like, doesn't have to be crazy guys, right? Just snug, just snug. But it is gonna sit farther down than that. Let's see what size this is down here. I'm gonna grab something to hold that tight. All right, so I'm just gonna put that there and just continue to tighten this up. Ooh, I might actually do it from the back side. back over here and reattach this just by basically pushing it through a bit and it's gonna catch on this little nipple thing and then with your 12 you're gonna tighten this back up Let's check. Let's see if this is engaging. I'll tighten it up just a bit more on both sides. Remember that really small switch right here? We gotta put that back on. So, remember which way? Oh, it sits in underneath like that. Grab our little bolts. I'll bring you guys in closer. There we go. Little baby Phillips, like really small Phillips. Throw that in. So if you guys have been following along this build series, you're going to realize I had a little bit of some microphone issues towards the end of the video series, especially on this day when I shot so many other videos. So a lot of voiceovers, unfortunately. 
Um, this is kind of like a wrap up of the video, basically saying that like I needed to go through once all of the levers and everything were positioned in the final placement, I was going to readjust everything to make sure that the levers were pulling properly and nothing was holding them back or anything weird like that. It's a fairly simple process, but I just wanted you guys to know what the next step was. That being said, thank you guys for watching this video. This was a little longer, but I wanted to be detailed because I think there's a lot of really important things when you're talking about your clutch and your front brake lever, and you really wanna like do it the proper way. So thanks guys so much for watching. Now go out there and ride safe.